Dear students, I know that uh, second PUC science students now are uh, having examination fever. I can understand uh, the stress and uh, the pressure uh, which has been put by yourself, your parents and teachers, etc. Dear friends, uh, it's always better to have uh, the balance between the mind and body and maintain the balance. Uh, you have to maintain the balance even between uh, the preparation for the board exam and also the competitive exams. I know you are also preparing for the competitive exams like KCET, NEET, JEE, CLATA, etc. Uh, therefore, uh, I was just uh, asking uh, with the students, they are ha having a lot of confusion how to concentrate, what amount of time they have to uh, allot for the board exam and uh, also for the competitive exams. I just took the feedback from the students who have passed out and uh, actually got very good rank both in the board exam and the competitive exams. And also I discussed with the teachers. Uh, here I want to share six tips for you to maintain the balance between the board exams and the competitive examinations. Number one, uh, please try to know the difference between the board exams and the competitive examinations. Uh, the differences are number one, board exam is only for the 12th standard textbooks, NCRT textbooks. Whereas the competitive exams like KCT, NEET and JEE are meant for both for the first year and second year syllabus. The second difference is that uh, the board exam is uh, based purely on theory and that to written examination. Whereas the competitive examination uh, is not based on uh, writing, it is based on multiple choice questions. So uh, the common thing between the both board exam and the competitive exams is that you should have a sound knowledge and understanding of the content of the NCRT books. The second point, you have to plan your schedule, how you have to maintain the time and give the uh, uh, special preference. Uh, to the board exam and also for the competitive exams. It is said if the examination is uh, uh, very near, almost three months from now, uh, you have to allot around 75% uh, for the board exam and 25% for the competitive exams. Whereas uh, in the months before that, you can allot almost 50% for the board exam and 50% for the competitive exams. And if the Six months before, you would have given around 75% for the competitive exams and 25% for the board exams. Now, as the exams are very near, uh, you can allot 50-50 uh, or 75 is to 25%. Uh, and uh, uh, you should also uh, revise the topics. That is the third point. Revise the topics. Which topics will you, you feel difficult? Which topics have more uh, weightage? and which topics are important from both the board exam and the computer exams. Based on that, you have to allot time and revise these topics. Revision uh, is important both for the board exam and SCE. The other thing, the fourth point is, you should have dedication and consistency. You should decide, have that, uh, uh, the decision to continuous, continuously sit for around six to eight hours. Here and there, after every one hour or two hours, you can just recharge yourself by uh, listening to music or uh, dance or just talking to your parents or talking to your friend like that. So that dedication and especially uh, the consistency, it should be continuously, so you should not break down and uh, sit alone or uh, don't go to the depression. Maintain that consistency. Then uh, the fifth one is uh, the practicing the sample papers, sample theory papers. So, you know, uh, you have to uh, really spend around 15 minutes to analyze the questions of, of the entire question paper and select the questions which are uh, uh, you can answer completely and get the full mass, which, which actually uh, require uh, the exact answer, apt points uh, like that. So, later on, you have to sit for three hours, right, continuously without break and answer all the questions okay in a systematic way and also underlining the keywords and writing the diagram using pencil and labeling them in capital letters like that right and also revising uh, your written answers for uh, around 8 to 10 minutes so practice uh, the, the papers and also the mock exam right then most important the sixth point is Please stay healthy. 
uh, you should maintain both your uh, mental health and physical health right have a balanced diet don't go for uh, the street food or junk food and also hydrate yourself drink a lot of water which is important uh, to activate your brain at the same time have a positive mindset okay you can do you have really worked hard you have listened to your teachers you, you your parents are supporting remember that you have the positive mindset and definitely you can achieve your goal so take care of your both physical health and mental health and all the best for you thank you